Welcome back to another video. So Microsoft once again has clearly indicated that their plan is to be essentially a third party. Their CFO of Microsoft and Xbox has said that their plan is to put their first party games, their services, pretty much what Xbox is on every screen. And that includes the screens that say PlayStation and the screens that say Nintendo. So this quote and this image on the screen here, I clipped this from a post that the Red Dragon put on X slash Twitter. I don't know what to call it now. And I know what you're going to say. The Red Dragon hates Xbox, but it's not like he dressed up as the CFO, went to Microsoft and then released this press statement. This is actually the words of the CFO of Xbox slash Microsoft. So clearly they're looking to put their services, they're looking to make Xbox a service and a service needs to be everywhere it can't just exist on one particular product and if you're a service-based company then by definition you're not really a hardware-based company and i think that the future for xbox clearly at this point if i had to guess if i had to put money on it yes they're going to be a third party now i don't know what this means for playstation a lot of people seem to be reading into this and saying well playstation is going to do the same thing it's kind of like uh, projecting if you're upset that somebody's doing something, you know, the competitor needs to do it to to make you feel better. I don't know if that's going to happen. PlayStation, as a hardware company, is incredibly successful. They're hardware first and then software. And Nintendo the same way. None of the stuff happening with Xbox or PlayStation affects Nintendo. When Nintendo is at the point where they're releasing, you know, they're, they're creating theme parks and they're making, you know, 70s and 80s Disney era content for the silver screen that's usually successful they're in uh you know they're in a different world but when it comes to xbox i do feel like this is a signal that clearly if they had a chance tomorrow to get game pass everything that they do on more successful hardware in the console space they would do it what does that mean for xbox as a console i don't know but conceivably why would you buy an xbox console if you can just get the best of the services on hardware that's more successful like playstation and nintendo now there are some really really disturbing things in this article i'll link it you can read it but it's all over x you can find it they talk about ai replacing artists replacing developers and they give an instance where they say if you want to go from point A to point B in a game. Well, in the past, you would have had to had someone sit down and write hundreds of lines of code to do that. You know, someone like a developer. Well, now you don't need that person. The AI can just do that for you. And let's say you have some NPCs in a game and you need them to have some dialogue or some interaction. Well, the AI can do that too. And these small use case situations that he's coming up with here, if you think that that won't lead to a larger scale implementation of AI taking over everything. I mean, imagine artists sitting down, drawing, creating, giving their vision of what a character or a world looks like being replaced simply by a computer, simply by AI. And of course, look, I want to do my best here to try and not be this controversial console war type video, but this is literally Microsoft admitting that having a soul of creativity isn't really important. Everything, the human element can be replaced by a machine. And that creativity that comes from the artists and the developers, that human input for these games and these experiences isn't important. And I think that that is very, very wrong. So with Xbox trending lower than the Xbox One when it comes to day and date sales of the Xbox Series consoles, seemingly want to push third party games, third party services to other platforms that are more successful in the hardware space, cloud, all of that stuff. I really feel like Xbox is in the, I don't want to say final days of hardware, but it does feel like they're on track to do what Sega did, only voluntarily Sega made horrible mistakes that led to them exiting hardware. Microsoft is making very calculated moves to exit hardware, but position themselves as you know, the top or second best service provider in the video game space. So I'm not sure I agree with that. I will you know, I will miss an Xbox. I don't know why you would call it Xbox without the box, but it seems like we're there already. 
especially with the idea that they, they just don't care about selling the system at all. And it really isn't selling very well outside of, you know, certain areas. And even in those areas, it's being outpaced by PlayStation and Nintendo. So ultimately, I feel like if I was in that position, of course, I would look to make a service because I'm a service-based company. And of course, I would look to get out of spending tons of money on hardware that really isn't successful. But it is, I guess, a bit disappointing that we're headed there faster than I thought. Let me know what you think, though, in the comment section below. Hey, I could be wrong. I'm just looking at this from the point of view of somebody taking the words of Microsoft and Xbox themselves versus, say, somebody on YouTube or somebody with a channel dedicated to Xbox. This is Xbox CFO. This is Microsoft CFO saying that they want to get their first party games, their services on other platforms, including PlayStation, including Nintendo. And I'm not sure what that leaves for an actual box called the Xbox. Thanks for watching the video. Think about liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.